Cup 2016 live from Calgary, Canada. I'm Panda. And they tell me I'm Bob Noxious. He does <laughs> They have to remind him. All right, so we're going to be heading to track two shortly, where we're going to see Team England play Team Sweden. The interesting thing that we've got here is England are very well ahead in terms of pre preparation up to this point from the last World Cup, where they won all of their games apart from the final against Team USA. Sweden coming into this didn't win anything. And they didn't participate in the road to Calgary either. So it's interesting to see if we're going to see the same uh, team, the same gameplay, the same strategy, or whether they're actually going to come in, be coming in and taking some wins. Yeah, in fact, checking out the two rosters, Panda, it's very... It looks like it's a little bit of a, a little bit of mix of the team from before and also a number of new faces as you would kind of expect would happen. Um, but uh, probably the most unknown yeah, probably the most unknown team for us as far as trying to project how they're going to play. And of course they start out against the powerhouse and that's gonna make it that's gonna make it pretty tough. But at the same time, if they can come out play this short 30 minute preliminary uh, pool uh, placement game and hang within 100, 150, that's a, that's a pretty nice game. And, and it bodes well for them moving forward. Absolutely. Uh, on track one at the minute, we've got Team Finland playing Team Ireland. And um, if you want score updates, you can go on Twitter or the live website, which is mrdwc.com. Twitter is at Um, well, I think, you know, what it comes down to is obviously Sweden has got to play defense and they've got to play it really well against a team that is as well polished as maybe anybody out there. Uh, I mean, England is not resting on its laurels. They, they were obviously not happy, uh, you know, being double. Hello there, we're jumping straight into the action here as uh, we've jumped straight on to England versus Sweden. England in the white, Sweden in the blue. So Reaper is already through, he has already picked up Lee Gemma. Uh, and he is up against number nine, that is No Modesty Blaze. No Modesty being held back, a very solid wall here at the front, but Modesty taken out and being recycled back now, it looks like it is Sutton bringing them back round. Dungeon Giovanni for England being sent off. Oh, and that is a cutting penalty on a Reaper. It was signaled by as no pass, no penalty by two APRs, but the Jammer scored a cut. He's obviously seeing something different. So this will put a power jam for No Modesty Blaze. But we have a star pass or star star. Star stash at the minute, number nine, in Modesty Blaze, no Modesty Blaze, sorry, still has the star for Sweden. England still giving a feistiness, but no, we have had that pass now come across. That is Kradjet, who is now the jammer for Sweden. England are back on with four on the track. That outside line keep kept open, but Sutton, big hit taking out Kradjet. And again, knocks him on that inside line. Reaper's back on and he has snuck through, picked up a five-point pass as we've spoken. The Reaper once again dancing inside and outside, gets round, picks up another five points. Those of you that have not seen Reaper before, you will enjoy watching his footwork. Yeah, he's uh, very quick on his feet, very light on his feet, artistic skater, so he knows how to spin himself round and out of those hits. Sutton doing a fantastic job here. I think he has recycled back Sweden's jammer about five times. One final hit there by Piston Broke. And that wraps up our first jam. Quite exciting already there, King. Big start, yeah. It's got power jam on the first jam. And a little check, I do believe. Yep, three points on the board for Sweden. That's three more than they managed in the game two years ago at the World Cup, which I believe was 363 to zero in a half hour game. Oof. Jumping back on the track, we've got 101, that is Blitzkrieg, who will be jamming for Team England. And number seven, Fritzen, has the star for the boys in blue from Sweden. Blitzkrieg just powering his way through there, just pushing, really brought his shoulder in. 
um, taking out, that was number 61, Crutzen, and that inside line was completely open from there onwards. And we have a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. As I think a forearms penalty being signalled on the Gemma Flitzen. So see if Blitzkrieg can run up the points. It's already given us a tasty little apex hop. Oh, he's given a back block penalty. So we are going to see both jammers now in the penalty box. We will see a jammer switch through as Blitzkrieg will sit down and Fritzen will come up through his own Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Sweden holding back, trying to give some offense on the outside and the inside, trying to squeeze that England wall through. It's geriatric pushing his way up there to rejoin the four at the front. And Fritzen having a difficult time, he seems to have been sandwiched in, knocked to that outside line. Geriatric is going back and Blitzkrieg powering through again. Look how quick he's come back out. And he's shoulders are just so strong as he's pushing everyone through. Pack spread out almost half the length of the track there. England bridging back, Sweden bridging forward. So there's another penalty, this time it's on geriatric, looks like a forearms penalty. That should make Fritzen's life a little easier. But then you see that there's still got spectral aberration and the old Billy out there and I think it's reanimating Biff with them. Blitzkrieg comes through, turns that strong shoulder you mentioned a moment ago, blasts his way through for another five points. Sweden now dropping back to try and provide. They have done a really good job of opening up that inside line, but England just covering it instantly as soon as it's opened up. Nice big hit there. That was Nielsen with the exit hit on Blitzkrieg, taking him all the way back. This jam, of course, will go back. Brilliant. Ill Billy absolutely brilliant dropping back, but we're going to have both jammers in the box. Both jammers picked up cuts right at the end of that jam. So, if my knowledge of the rules serves me correctly, they will both be sat down for 10 seconds and then both released. And they are both eligible for lead jammer when they come out of the box. They are indeed. So this will be another Roller Derby Athletics, well it's not Roller Derby Athletics power jam, because they're both in the box. No, they are. They should be released instantaneously. It does depend on which way the jammers go. Now, they're going to work out their advantages. I think they're going to be held for 10 seconds. Geriatrics released and he joins everybody else on the Nerd Skate Shop pivot line. And here we go. The jammers now returning to the track. Geriatric trying to pull that cut there on Fritzen. Superb footwork on the inside from Blitzkrieg. Gets through, picks up lead jammer for Team England. That's Toots there trying to pull, push. Oh, and it's a blocking out of bounds that he's managed to pull on Fritzen. So we are back into the power jam situation for hey, Team roll England. The roll the Derby Athletics power jam. And Blitzkrieg, he is already racking up some points. So they're trying to hold uh, block, block, to the, block to Watson, I should say, at the back. Lovely spin round, a hit there by Blitzkrieg. Oh, a little fake out there, managing to throw block to Watson. I think he just clipped him. So, drawback was attempted by Mick Yeager, couldn't do it. So we have, that is the end of that jam. So, give a shout out to Roller Skating CA, is Canada's roller skate store. Trusted provider to the Derby teams across Canada for over 11 years with the best customer service. We sell and service all the top Derby brands, safety gear, and tons of recreational skates too. Over 30 years of expert quad skating know how at your service. Call 1 855 Roll Skate or go to Roller Skating without the G on the end. CA. Jumping back in, we are on a power jam for England's Dark Matter. Inside lineman opened up by reanimated GIF. Brilliantly done, well timed, and Dark Matter Lee Jammer. So making the most of this power start. Although Ilbilly's going to the penalty box. Like a bad block. Nielsen going as well, so we've got a three on two mini pack. Yeah, Sweden gonna be pushed to, to hold back Dark Matter. The animated gift went to the outside, spectral to the inside, opened the door for Dark Matter. And in they come again. Alex Tyler this time just shielding off any attempt by Sweden to come forwards. Dark Matter, another five in the sky. I like the work there from Mick Yeager as he came out of the box, sprinted to get back in. And we have a star pass successfully completed to Yadda Yadda. Uh, Yadda Yadda, a very sensible pivot for Sweden to put out as he is on their jammer rotation. 
um, kept himself clean on the track so that he was available for that star pass. So 22 minutes and change to go. England in the white, 67. Sweden in the blue on three points. And we have, for the first time jamming this World Cup, number five, Fish for England. And he's up against number nine, no modesty blaze. Bit of cheek-to-cheek -cheek action on the start line to get, as they're waiting to go. Fish just taking his time. No modesty blaze trying to go on the inside. Goes for the outside piston broke, holding him back. Some strong as Rajuret is having a great job doing holding fish back. Uh, 21, that's Toots, is going to the penalty box for Team England. Yeah, we had a bit of a sandwich for Nobodisty Blaze between Piston Broke and Toots, and it was Toots who came out the worst. Nobodisty Blaze, a wonderful push there, managing to get his way past Don Gin Giovanni at the front. He's now trying to force the quick call off from Fish, who is through and lead Jammer. And that pressure was definitely on there. Get through, but he does pick up three. Oh, almost the time to take a breath. Just about, yes. Remember, these games are just half-hour games, and they are flying through. We've had nearly nine minutes gone already in this game. England on 70 points. Sweden still with that wonderful three points that they picked up earlier. And we have 6-6-6 Reaper back for England. Up against number 5-6-3, that is Schoberg Olsen. Schoberg just waiting to see where Reaper goes, and it's a good hold here by the Sweden defensive team. They've taken the back line. Reaper finding it a little bit hard. He is dancing around them, and I mean dancing. Oh, that outside line on his toe stops. Beautiful work. And nice work there from Nils, opening up the outside line for Schoberg Olsen. Toots comes out straight on the aggressive. Reaper has to call it very quickly. <laughs> Schoberg Olsen was flying after him. A very, very well-timed call-off by Reaper, holding Sweden to zero in that jam and collecting three points themselves. So this next jam will be brought to you by Brown Paper Tickets. They've been supporting Roller Derby for over a decade. We love this sport and we are working to help gear up the Women's League in Lebanon. You can make a difference for Roller Derby Beirut by visiting our donation page at Got Game Need Gear at brownpapertickets.com. So we have Blitzkrieg for England, yada yada for Sweden. And Blitzkrieg just makes it through right to the outside. He's through Lee Jammer. Again, England, a very solid defensive wall. Sweden now working out that they need to break that wall apart. And they're, they're certainly getting their big players in there to try and create some friction on the England defence. But Blitzkrieg, he's quick and he's powerful and he's already picked up five points. And we have yada yada breaking at the front. And that is Banks unable to just chase him down and stop him. So now they're coming in for more points. Let's read a wonderful spin round, throws his <laughs> hips out. And he does collect four points at the end of that jam. Good call off there by the England jammer. Yeah, I'd give that one about a 9.6 <laughs> on style for the call off. Could have straightened his legs a little more. Yeah, to be fair, from where we're sat, we didn't have a particularly nice view of that. <laughs> you might disagree with me, Holly, but... There we go. I'll pass. <laughs> On the track this time with the star, we have number one, that is Dark Matter, up against number seven, Friedsen. Dark Matter, who was part of the England training squad two years ago, but didn't make it onto the final roster. So I know how much this means for him to be here this time. What a hit that was. Number eight, that is Nielsen taking out Reanimated GIF. That takes some doing. Yes, you don't often see him off the track. Reanimated GIF, of course, two years ago was the tournament's best blocker. Dark Matter making up for lost time from two years ago, picks up five points. And Look, sorry, Geriatric doing a really good job of just denying Fritzen with uh, entry on the outside. I think he was looking also for the star pass, but the pivot's just come back in from the penalty box. We may see some star action here, but at the moment he's trying to force his way through on the inside line. Ill Billy just knocking him out, but takes Dark Matter out as well. Bit of friendly fire there. Out of play call. Dark Matter can come back on. Oh, taken out again. Can't see who that is from here. Is that Knudsen? Number 61, it is. There's whistles going, but I can't see who we're going to the box at the minute. 
Oh, beautiful work there by Dark Matter getting low. It does look like we've had that star pass take place. However, it's not legal. It's an illegal procedure being signaled by the jam ref as the jammer Thridson goes, so he is still the jammer of record. Dark Matter slicing his way through. Sweden still trying to break out their pivot, so I'm not sure if they, they are unaware of and the situation. England are also still holding him, so they're unaware. He is, I don't believe he's the jammer of record, but by the fact that the jam ref is stood opposite the box for the Fridson who's in the box. I think the star pass violation was before the pass was legally completed. So Fridson is still jammer, despite the best efforts of Rajarek to get through. He isn't the jammer. He's still holding on to that jammer pansy. And he just missed a, an apex jump there by Dark Matter. But he does collect another point. We have taken Team England into the triple digits. So we have a team timeout called by Sweden, and this team timeout is brought to you by the Quad Skate Shop. We're going to be testing three helmets today. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS Fusion Foam did pass the multiple impact test. Back after us. Most of team timeout. Current scores are sat with Sweden on three, England on 108. If you are just joining us, England are in the white, Sweden are in the blue. This is both teams' first game of this 2016 World Cup, or Men's Roller Derby World Cup, I should say. We're going to be seeing Fish, who is jamming for the second time, up against No Modesty Blaze, who has been a regular on the jamming rotation for Team Sweden. Wrapping up that timeout, officials are all back in their places. Just about back in their places. Oh, we now have a now changes to an official timeout. Uh -huh. I'm guessing, did you buy a head referee, Righteous Oxide, talking to the Sweden bench coach? You'll be talking about the confusion with who was and who wasn't jammer for Sweden on that last jam. But we are now back in place, we are now underway. Or well, getting ready to, anyway. Here we go. And then taking that back wall with a square formation, trying to hold in the Modesty Blaze. Fish just darting his way around the outside, takes a big hit, but just knocks off and carries on round. Lead jammer going to England. The Modesty Blaze finding that outside line, and he manages to duck around Don Gingivani. So it was a fish, it was the exit hit from the Sweden team captain, Papa. And Fish calls it now. I think this will leave England with a four on one pack advantage wow. for this next jam. And they're sending Reaper out, just what you don't want to see. <laughs> so the next jam will be brought to you by the Quad Skate Shop because we love this game. Quad is Europe's original brick and mortar roller derby skate shop with the best selection and the most stock on the continent. We know skates, so you don't have to. Our customer service is the best on a level that only fellow skaters could provide. Come see us online or in store for all your roller derby needs. Indeed, we are seeing Reaper with a very solid four wall to hold back, yada yada. Reaper one on one, and Nilsson unable to hold him. Nilsson now going to come in and try and provide some offense. We've got two more back in, so Sweden with three. Oh, lovely, managing to hold Reaper off that apex jump. And Reaper recycling himself back on the outside, which is quite unusual considering he was hit off through the inside. But I think his momentum took him through, which is why they've been having yep. Spectral's in the box, it's for an out of play box right at the start of that. Uh, I think Nielsen got a failure to reform right at the start of the jam as well, so he'll take a seat. It's not a lot he could do. He, he went in for a big hit and had to pick himself back up to get back on track to form that pack. Lovely footwork there by Reaper, managing to keep his balance on here, turn number four, and that is a cutting penalty now being issued to Yada Yada. So he's replacing the star, he had taken it off to try and sneak his way through, but picked up a cut. Reaper being held back here at the moment, we don't often see him slow down, and indeed knocked off the track, beautiful work there. Captain Papa, number 42, once again. Reaper decides to call it and send some fresh legs out, start with the power start. 
Roland Derby Athletics Power Jam for Blitzkrieg to start this jam by the look of it. We've seen quite a few of those for Team England. Yeah, they are very good at drawing the penalties. They are. They're very quick and they're also very solid. So um, the jammers who are there trying to cut up that outside line or the inside line, they may see a fraction of space, but England have got it clocked. Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot of noise for Team Sweden in house though. And we're underway. Knutson at the front of the pack, trying to hold back Blitz Creek, can't do it. Blitz Creek is your lead jammer. Yep, Team England seemed a little bit split up there. They, they were doing some defence and offence at the same time and stretched that pack out. Uh, but Sweden stayed quite close together. Oof! That's a huge hit there by Blitz Creek, taking out two of Sweden's blockers in one go. Uh, two for the price of one, it's a sale here in Calgary. <laughs> so we do have the jammer, yada yada. Yadi Yad is the jammer jammer. He's back on the he's back on the track. He's got the star in his hands. He has, you can't quite see it on his helmet, so don't be looking out for the star up high. He's up at the front, tall jammer in the blue, up against Banks for Team England. Banks are easily identifiable by the bright pink skates <laughs> and socks. Also the pivot stripe on his helmet cover, but yeah, the that's socks first. There. Oh, beautiful hit out, and Blitzkrieg is forced back. Block to Watson, that's home with the exit hit. I'm not quite sure what's going on at the front there. <laughs> yada yada, not enjoying this time at the moment. So it's Toots bracing the wall, Tom Banks, and it's Piston Broke, number 515, the other one. Yep, recycled round, and Toots having to take himself off the track. Direction of play, called that time on Piston Broke. And a cut track on Yada Yada. That will be another roller derby athletics power jam, although Blitz Creek's had enough. It does look like there is some. Nuts and Blue 61 as a blocker has picked up a cut towards yeah. the end of that. So again, this is going to give Team England a bit, a bit of an advantage here. I think there's two. No, it is actually three blockers going to be on the track for Sweden. Just yeah. the two. Just the two, Just that the was two. Yadi Yadi making his way to the box as Jammer. So it's a three on two pack advantage, starting at the Nerdscape's pivot line. And dark match on the Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam. Spectral Aberration opens up the inside line. The Jammer quick and easy. Nice footwork there from Nielsen to avoid being held and trapped at the back. Yep. Yeah, no goats on the menu in this game. <laughs> Wonderful work there, Dark Matter, just sliding around the um, outside of that shoulder hit. Nielsen now up at the front, Sweden split in half by the Team England defence. I'm not sure that's going to work in their favour. Oh, beautiful work, however, Nielsen. And just the daintiest of hits, but that was all that it needed to unsettle Dark Matter and take him off the track. Uh, Yadi Yadi is back on track now. He is trying for the star pass. Just kept a foot on the outside, avoided the cut. Dark Matter keeps age, racking up the points, 10 points in counting. Beautiful duck, and it is a cutting being issued to Yada Yada. He's got to be close to fouling out. It's only five fouls in these games, uh, and that's at least four, I think. So they need to, I don't think we'll see Yada Yada with the star. Well, unless they, get, they hold him in the penalty box, I think they're aware of that. England. If I'm right, of course. Indeed, England down to just two blockers. Dark Matter having a, a tough time. Don't think his jammer referee quite saw that. It was a very small call off, but that call off eventually ex escalated and jam yeah. ended there. <laughs> Good note there for all jammers. If you're on the far side of a pack full of people, big call off. Big call off. So the next jam will be brought to you by the Men's Roller Derby Association. We're excited to announce that the 2016 MRDA Championships will be held in Texas. The Lone Star Showdown will be held at the Nitec Sports Centre in beautiful North Richland Hills on the 15th and 16th of October. And here we go, we have fish back jamming for England. The power of start, but there are four blockers on track. Recycle tried to be taken up, but Fish actually just commander rolled on the track. He does pick up lead jammer, makes his way around now on a scoring pass. Yada yada is back out. He has the star in hand. He's got to be careful here. So Fish in the meantime just swimming, turning, hopping, skipping, jumping, scoring. Five points. 
Yep, yada yada, just doing as little as he can. Just pushing through on that in, right in the middle. Not even attempting to go to the edges. <laughs> and indeed just passes the star back behind him. And it's now with Fra Juret. Roger Rett just straddling again. Il Billy almost pulling a cut on him, and he's now behind that England four wall defence. So once again, Il Billy drawing back Roger Rett with the star. Fish taken out on the outside and drawn all the way back by Block to Watson. Uh, yada Yada has picked up another penalty. I think that's five, but at least he doesn't have the star. Yes. That's the important thing. I think Sweden would really feel the deficit if they had a two-minute power jam handed over to England. Or the remainder of this time, which is oh, half a minute. Great footwork there from Fish and a bit of brute force as well. Dips the shoulder and picks up five more. It's a, it is quite a deceiving, the amount of power that he actually has in that shoulder. Um, sometimes he throws it in and sometimes he uses it to spin himself around and you never know which one he's going to use. Whatever he's used. Oh, yada yada is back on the track, so he must be on four penalties now. Rajaret taken out on the inside combination of Ilbini and Sutton impact. End of the jam, six minutes to go. Where has the time gone? Uh, so part of it, of course, we did have those timeouts where the clock in these 30 minute group games, the clock does not stop. That's right, and of course, time flies when you are having fun. <laughs> It's always fun being sat here with you, Holly. <laughs> so when we do get back to the action, we will have number 666, that is Reaper, up against 563, that is Schoberg Olsen. Only the second jam here for Schoberg. Uh, Reaper, again, a regular on Team England's jammer rotation, and he just battles it. He's a bit of a battle, but he does make his way through, goes round the outside and picks up the lead. Schoberg now just attempting to push through the middle of that England four wall and it is barely moving. He does try testing the inside and the outside, but on this attempt, he's been recycled back by geriatric number six zero. And he's now up against the three wall. That's Alex, Alex Tyler trying to provide some offense for Reaper, but picks up a direction of play penalty. There's a multiplayer block call, I'm guessing it's gonna be on Nielsen. He's the one that turns around, begrudgingly makes his way to the box. Reaper spins and lovely little pirouette for another five points. Here we go, here we go, air miles! <laughs> yeah, I have seen Reaper skate once or <laughs> twice, I could see what was coming there. We've all been waiting for it. <laughs> Reaper the Leaper. Oh, beautiful spins, knocked out on that final double pirouette unable to get himself back on track and calls that jam to an end. Big round of applause for Reaper, deservedly so. If you haven't been watching Team England play when they've had Reaper, it is honestly a sight to see. I have been sat at the far end of the track and seen Reaper leap the height of the entire NSO team in the middle <laughs> and quite easily clear them. Yeah, he, d he, d he does like the jumps, does Reaper. The nickname Reaper the Leaper is very well earned. <laughs> We're looking back now at No Modesty Blaze up against Blitzkrieg. No Modesty going straight through the middle of his wall, which was a little bit of a, a doubtful tactic, and it's worked in Blitzkrieg's favour as he just followed him straight through. So Blitzkrieg's nice and relaxed, enjoying his time with Team England. Spin, 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 illegally. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't tell you which one of those it was, but I he is... I don't know whether that was one cut, it was either brilliant or six different cuts, I'm not <laughs> sure which. I think that was death by a thousand track cuts. And No Modesty Blaze getting a large amount of cheers and support from the audience here who really want to see Sweden pull some more points. And indeed, lovely dodge underneath Dante and Giovanni's hips. No Modesty Blaze now out and ready to pick up some more points for Sweden. So you have <laughs> Toots, Alex Tyler, and sorry, Dante and Giovanni are the three. Trying to hold back in Monster Blades. No pack pull. So there's points. Don Giovanni trying to make it as few as possible. Blitzkrieg down, says thank you very much. I'll have some points. Oh, no, mod no modesty blades taken to the inside. Looks like it's Don Giovanni. He's now rejoined by Banks, Toots, and Alex Tyler. Blitzkrieg with just the two blockers. Sit down. Hours his way through. 
Raju out ran over there by Blitzkrieg. Blitz by name, Blitz by nature on that pass. And I say no modesty blaze trying his hardest up against Dungeon Giovanni, just having a real tough time. Indeed, but he is on a scoring pass, so every time he can spin his hips around, he is going to be picking up those points. Darling saw Blitzkrieg coming. Blitzkrieg says not today, Darling, and puts him down. Lovely work. He's spinning inside and outside there just to work his way around. I don't understand how he doesn't work out which way's up, down, left, and right with all these spins. Oh, just guided off the track there. A little bit of a, uh, a suicidal move, potentially towards the inside, but recycled back by Papa, but the jam coming to an end before it. He can benefit from that. Five points picked up by Sweden, Rowe. less than two minutes to go. So, Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated roller skate shop with everything you need for Derby, Rink or Park. Visit them online at www.nerdskates.com, offering free shipping in Canada on orders over $150. Nerd Roller Skates for people who roll. And we have an official timeout. We do. We've just seen Martinson, who isn't actually skating for Sweden, but he is part of their bench area. He came up and gave a hug to both jammers there. Um, Dark Matter did have to ask for his, but he did get one. <laughs> I think he's just been sent back towards his, uh, his benched area. Yeah. Just of course, just a remind that during these 30 minute games, it's hard clock, it does not stop for anything. Yep. Hang on, we've got a power jam. We have, we have Dark Matter. No, Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg in the penalty box. So this is just Schuberg Olsen on a power jam. Let's see if Sweden can benefit from this. Lovely work there by Geriatric. Just shouldering Schuberg Olsen off the inside line. Yes, it is. Oh, England very solid, and that is Spectral who took him off, and Ill Billy who was trying to pull that recycle. Schuberg went on behind all of them anyway, and he's now just trying to run up that outside line. A very dangerous position to be in. So it's roll with Derby Athletics, power, jam, power Jam, England's blockers have killed it. That's not so much a power jam as a power failure. And indeed, Blitzkrieg just stepping his way through that inside line, picks up the lead. And that is a, a shame indeed for Sweden, who I'm sure wanted to get some more points and certainly the advantage of lead. Uh, this is, like I say, the two teams met two years ago when it was 363 to zero. This just shows you the improvement that Sweden have made. Not only have they scored, they've held England down for a hell of a lot less than last time. We are now on jam period, jam clock time remaining. Blitzkrieg can end the game at any point he wants, but he's having fun. Five more points. Yeah, the England team definitely do seem to be enjoying themselves out here. Sweden, oh, powering them way through. Blitzkrieg with a, a jump, and I think that might be a leaping contact penalty that's been issued to him. No, it's Ill Billy that picks up it's the penalty for the direction it? of play. Although it did look like Blitzkrieg was playing leapfrog there for a moment. <laughs> Put a back block penalty called on Grand Marshall. But that will be the game. So just a quick heads up for what we have lined up for you next on this track. We will see from the green group, Mexico versus the host, Canada. These two teams uh, are both playing later today. England will be on the nerd track against Argentina at four o'clock local time. Sweden back on this track against Chile at eight o'clock local time. I am King Crazy for the wonderful Holly Sheet. Sorry, my dear. That's quite all right. Uh, we'll throw this back to the CSO studio. Thank you for watching the CSO.
We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. A lot of very impressive people in roller derby. This was definitely a proud moment for me, wearing the black, white, and red. I care about this thing more than I care about any other article of clothing in my wardrobe. This represents to me, like, seven years of like, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Glitter is fun and hardcore. I've learned that it's hardcore. <laughs> my uniform is always in pristine condition. My truck is purple. My shoes are purple. <laughs> my underwear are purple. It takes a lot of drive and a lot of passion to keep going in roller derby. Sometimes you, when you play roller derby, you're just kind of like, why am I doing this? This is so weird. I just can't imagine that I'd get more kicks, like playing golf, than I do hitting a b you know? Feels good. <laughs> My name is Rachel Rotten. My name is Midge Wilhelm. I'm Fifi Nominon. I'm Jackie Daniels. My name's Steph Maney. Hi, I'm Scald Eagle. And S1. 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 And S1 is part of my uniform.
love to play roller derby because I 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 play roller derby because weil ich uh, die Action auf dem Spielfeld mag. I'm competitive, I like energy, I like power and I like the speed. Und dass ich einfach hau, like zu tun, aber groß rat. Es ist ein fett bizarrer Sport. Que j'aime me donner à fond sur le track et ça me rend heureuse. Parce que non posso faire ni à moins. Love at first sight. I love developing my skills and I love developing new strategies. It's taking me to many new places that I would not have normally gone. Also, für die IK ist du so ein Bruder zu können. So, muy competitive. It is the most unique opportunity to go past your boundaries and try anything and everything that you thought you couldn't do and prove to yourself that you can. Wollt ihr Lobby da mal ruhig auf die Lobby, wie ihr könnt was gut. When you love to roll and you need the best gear you can get, come to our brick and mortar shop in
yo whip, clap the pack. If you clock the block, then I can jam the track. Quads on the floor, stars on the head. Roller to be locked with the zebra said. Yeah, we rollin', yeah, we rappin' for real. Can feel the back wheels underneath my heels. Thumb through my spine, penetrating the heart. Callin' up the jam till the next jam starts. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test.